I'd wager that the three disablers present in Vermintide are the biggest causes of party wipes in Vermintide as a whole. And because of that, I'm going to go over how you can dodge each of these disablers with ease. As usual with Vermintide, it does take some time to learn the muscle memory, but once you do, you will gain a massive advantage over your enemies and will be able to avoid some of those unnecessary wipes. The Leech is the easiest disabler to dodge due to his predictability. After the Leech's loud teleport sound, he will extend out his left hand and will send out his disabling orb to grab you. For the best results, dodge to either side right before his hand fully extends out, although the window for dodging his grab is more generous than the others, so timing it a little late or a little early will still allow you to dodge with ease. Additionally, you can instead dodge by simply counting to three beginning once you hear the leech teleport, and as long as you dodge right on three, you will dodge him every time. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Using this method also allows you to dodge leeches without even having to look at them. The Assassin is slightly more difficult to dodge due to his unpredictability and chance to pounce from anywhere on the map, but still has a visual cue you can use to time your dodges. If the Assassin pounces from the ground, he will first claw the ground two times, and then after a short delay, he will pounce at you. You do not want to dodge when he claws the ground, but rather towards the end of the brief delay before his pounce, or right as he starts his pounce. Likewise, you can also time it by counting to two right as the assassin gets down on all fours and dodging on two. If the assassin climbs onto a ledge and pounces from there, you lose the visual cue, but the count time does stay the same. Keep in mind that when an assassin pounces, he is pouncing at the location you currently are. So if the assassin is far enough away when he begins his pounce, then you can simply walk to the right or to the left to avoid the pounce instead of having to dodge it. Another tool to use against assassins is the dodge shove. If you dodge the assassin, you can turn in his direction and shove right as he passes you, knocking him out of his leap and causing him to become staggered. This is a very reliable way to kill assassins and can also be used to buy yourself time if you are being assaulted by multiple disablers and need to buy yourself a second or two. Lastly, the hook rat is the most difficult disabler to dodge due to his lack of a clear visual or sound cue. However, it is still possible to dodge him not by looking at what he does, but rather by at what he stops doing. The hook rat's grab animation is very short compared to the other two disablers, as he will grab you almost less than a second after starting his grab animation. Dodging the moment the hook rat stops moving is the best way to time your dodge, as you will still be in your dodge when he lunges at you, causing him to miss even though he will still track you through your dodge and it'll look like he'll hit. Sadly, this does not work so well if you are on high ping, and at that point the only thing you can do is predict when the hook rat is going to lunge and dodge right before he does. There are some people who say to look at his legs to learn how to dodge, but personally, I don't see a correlation between the two. It is also possible to backwards dodge the hook rat, but it is unreliable as you have to bait the hook rat into lunging at you from further away by walking directly at him and predicting when he is going to lunge, dodging backwards right before he does. Sometimes the hook rat will continue walking toward you and go for a face grab, which from what I can tell is random, so there is a bit of luck involved in backwards dodging the hook rat.
If you would like to practice dodging disablers yourself, you can do so pretty easily by following these steps. First, download three mods. Creature spawners to spawn the disablers, spawn tweaks to disable bots and enemies on maps, and item spawner so you can spawn healing to heal yourself when you take damage. When you load in-game, open the mod menu by pressing F4 and set up the keybinds for selecting, spawning, and destroying units. The Packmaster and Assassin are named the same in the menu, but the leech goes by a different name. Afterwards, go into the item spawner menu and set a keybind for the healing drought. Lastly, go into the custom game menu and check no bots and disable spawns at the top, and restart map if you'd like to. After you get into the game, go to any location you'd like to practice in the map and practice away. Just remember to use your healing whenever you get hurt and despawn enemies if you do mess up and get disabled. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit that like and subscribe button, and comment down below if you have any other suggestions for videos I should make in the future. See y'all later. Peace!